All right, so first one, we've got the bossa nova. So today, like I said last week, all rhythms will be Brazilian rhythms. We'll do the bossa nova, we'll do the samba, and we'll do the partido alto, okay? Three different Brazilian rhythms. Bossa nova and samba, fairly similar. Partido alto is sort of like a weird, not weird, but it's a it's a shift. Like it doesn't really sound alike <laughs> the other two. Okay, so what you see there on the screen is the bossa nova. Mm. Okay, so we've got a couple of things that we ought to pay attention, right? For instance, let's look for the patterns that repeat themselves quite regularly and, let, and then we'll deal with the stuff that is not so regular. So what, what do you see there that is obviously a repetitive pattern? An oscinato even, you could say, right? Um, So what's donato is the thing you play with your feet. So the no, no, no. Ostinato oh. simply means a rhythm that you repeat without changing it. Ah, I see. Yes, yeah, so the beats two, three, and four are an ostinato. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four? Yeah. What do you mean by two, three, and four? Because these are two bars, right? Ah, sorry. Sorry. The second, the second bar of B one, and that. Ah, oh, right. No, that's the second bar, isn't it? So how are you counting that? Just out of curiosity, because well, it's eight notes. Isn't it? So, okay, yeah, sorry, yeah, I should look at that. So, so, three and four and on bar one. Three and four on this? Yeah. Okay. It's the same as the second bar. Bar one and two. Yeah. It is, but that seems Is that not it? That, that I wouldn't call that an ostinato. Okay. Because it immediately changes afterwards. So it's not an ostinato anymore. Right. An ostinato is a rhythm that never changes. Never, cha never changes, right. That's just a coincidence. <laughs> right. I'll say the bass drum pattern then. Ah. Now we're talking. That's why I was initially going for the feet seek. I'm thinking the bass drum pattern is solid right the way across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whereas... A but so is the right hand. It is. That's what kind of... Yeah, a little a little bit. The, the kind of... A couple of things going on that... That the right and the... Is matched as well. But yeah, I can see that now. No, but the, the right hand is an arsenal. Right. right. So not now is just anything that, like a... It never changes. So it doesn't... It, so that's another thing, you see. I've, I've mistakenly took ostinato as only with the feet. Yeah. It's the, an ostinato is a rhythm that doesn't... So like a loop is an ostinato. It's the fancy word for loop. Right. Just... Exactly. It's just I want to hammer the hammer the, ex the exact terminology as well, so okay. you know what I mean? So, so that, that's what the, the word means then. So we've got an ostinato there between the right hand and the, sorry, just make sure it's still recording, the right hand and the right foot. That's an ostinato. So the right hand is playing eighth notes and the bass drum is playing what? What's the bass drum playing? Um, Sixteenth. 
Straight sixteenth notes? No, no. Cause you've got a you've got a dotted quarter note. What's the name of that pattern that the bass drum is playing? It's got a name. We've learned that before. It's the samba. Okay. Best room on the one, best room on the end of two. That's the pattern. And that's the ostinato. And just loops that. Okay. Best room on the one, best room on the end of two. Correct? Because then you have, okay, best room on the three and best room on the end of four, but it's the same pattern. Right? Yeah. Okay. Right, so let's do that. Let's just play the right hand and the right foot. Okay, so we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and And two and three and four and Okay, and that's a, a fundamental part of the bossa nova and also also of the samba. Okay, um, that pattern, that bass drum pattern, is like the clave of Brazilian music. Okay, so it's really really important to uh, as quickly as possible and as properly as possible as well to embed that into your playing when you want to play Brazilian stuff. In all fairness, if you get that going and automatically. Almost anything that you play on top of that will sound Brazilian. Because that's such a fundamental aspect of it, that if that's there, your sound. You can just improvise whatever you want at the top. It's pretty cool, right? It gives you a very um, solid foundation for what the, the genre needs to sound authentic. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. I'm just going to... Okay, we'll do that a little bit with the metronome now to get us comfortable with it. So, but that's it. That's the part. All right. So this is sixty-five BPM. One and 
two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and 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 two and three four and one and two three and four and one and two it's always the same sound right boom 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 Bom bom, bom bom, bom bom, bom bom, bom bom. Mm. All right. I was just noticed someone else as well. Go on. You've got in in between the bass, yeah, in between the bass drum pattern, you've got two. You've got two hi hats per per measure. Yes. I, I just mean in terms of spacing. That's all. Yes, you just, do. Just you do have. To. We, it's just when you play. It's, you I would just playing. be careful with that, though, because I when know. you add the left hands, that might cause confusion because immediately those spaces will be gone. I would. It will. It will yeah. I'm I would rather see that as a straight eighth note pattern. Yeah. And that as a dong, 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 dong. Yeah. Like just yeah. following that. Double like the two way notes in there. I think that's what I'm trying to mean. It's just to sort of to. I'm starting to hear the rhythms around. Yeah. yeah. I'm starting to sort of get the like the the, the spacing from yeah. when you were playing that to start to top count and trying to hear the just hear oh, the, the part. Yeah. There's two hi hat notes between the sort of as you play. So yeah, but again, the the issue with that logic, yeah. and that's why I'm kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. is that as soon as you bring the snare into it. Yeah, that's, that's just that's gonna, not going to yeah. be useful anymore. Yeah. Um, let's have a listen to Bossa Nova. Okay. So I would like to, to show you a song. Because it is important that we understand, for example, the difference between a Bossa Nova and Samba. Okay, And fundamentally, there, there are a bunch of different differences. But if you look to them on paper, you, you would be like, it looks the same to me, on paper. Mm. Stylistically, when you listen to actual music, completely different. Right, so let's have a listen to Bossa Nova. Baiana, samba direitinho De cima e embaixo Revira os olhinhos Dizendo eu sou filha de São Salvador Mas a gente gosta quando uma baiana Samba direitinho De cima e embaixo Revira os olhinhos Dizendo eu sou filha de São Salvador Da pataia da Da pataia da da batalha da baiano da batalha da batalha da da batalha da da batalha da right, but 
that's the, the the vibe that's the atmosphere that we are to then you know convey as well sure <laughs> yeah it sounds like It makes all sense. Now I want to show you the samba. This is more samba. Bossa Nova, right? Very different. So that's the Bossa Nova, that's the Samba. They share the same rhythmic foundation, yeah. but then, of course, the, the final, the, the package is quite different, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright? Alright, so back to the plane. Bossa Nova, we've got the right hand, we've got the right foot going, we, we kind of, we get the pattern. Let's start adding snare drums. Okay, all those notes, they are circled because they are supposed to be cross stick. Okay. Cool. You might need to raise your pen a little bit. You're going to end up slouching. But, um, yeah. So we've got the f very first note, very first snare drum at beat one. Okay. Right? Don't worry about the other ones. One at a time. Let's get the bass from going though. Boom, 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 ba. And three, and one, and two, and three, and four, 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 and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and one, and three, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one okay try that a little bit slower maybe but let's just get that first snip
Okay, it's okay. Let's add the next snare drum. So when does the next snare drum appear? That's the one. <laughs> okay, end of two. So we've got snare so far at one, the end of two. Okay, let me continue with the other bass room. So we've got. One and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and three and four. So we are mis mismatched. Yeah. Because I was there and you were there. Right, yeah. If you stop playing and I keep going, you gotta yeah. take into account take that I kept yeah. going. Yeah. So one and two and three and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one yeah okay yeah you can see that the the, the thing about these brazilian rhythms is that they are syncopated man they are they're always the notes are always moving all over the place and this is just by the way it's just a how do i put it it's a template yeah. Right? This is not supposed to be like, this is the bossa nova groove, nothing yeah, else is possible. Like it's a template. The, right. Right? It's an example, if even, right? Okay. So, um, if, let's look, let's get rid of the bass drums and let's uh, learn the hand, the hands part. Okay? So, you've got eighth notes on the right hand, you got that. Yeah. Let's learn the left hand. Okay. This time without the bass drum being in the way. Right, okay. Okay, so w let's break down all the snare drum hits. We have a snare drum hit at um, one. One, the ah, uh, one, the not ah, uh, no, no. Oh, sorry. I, there's me turn old again. Snare drum on beat one, the and of two, on two, on. Go on, try again. One, the and of two, the four, four. The why I said you um, the beat two, and the And the and of three. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So as you can tell, it's left hand part, and even it's not very busy. It's five notes long. Yeah. But but it, it's the placement in it. It keeps on changing, not, right? Yeah. So I'll show you what it sounds like, and then it gives us also another source of information, if you will. So you've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Okay, a little bit faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. A little bit faster. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and 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 up pop 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 ah. Okay. Let's learn the left hand part. Actually, let me just check the time here. Ah, uh, we ought to move on. But because uh, I, I want to show you the other ones as well. I will send you this, obviously. But so far, before we move on, because I want to show you the samba now. Then. Any questions? Yeah. Listen to the bass drum, right? It's always the same pattern. Pom pom, pom pom, pom. Now the snare. the samba. As you can tell, oddly similar, <laughs> right? Um, the bass drum, the bass drum part is
is is the same. It's the same. Don't worry about the accents. Yeah. I've noticed that you try to uh, work out dynamics before you work out coordination. That's a bad plan. Yeah. I've noticed that you do that quite a lot. Like you go like, oops, there's accents, and then you freeze there. Okay. Don't worry about the accents. Right. Plus, there are those accents, and they're not all that relevant anyway. Right. <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. That's another trait that. I do. You, I've noticed that yeah. in past workshops, you, like whenever you see accents, it seems to freeze your everything. Yeah, like, probably. Oh, accents. Yeah, instead of instead of learning the limbs first, oh. meaning what your limbs are supposed to be playing. Yeah, if limbs don't know. And then you you can you can work out the sound and whatnot yeah. because accents is sound. Yeah. It's not what you play; it's how you play it. But first, you need to work out what you play. Yeah. Okay, so as you said, and, and well, the bass drum is the same, the hi-hat is the same, left hand is different. Mm. But more important than that, the samba is faster. Yeah. It's more important. Once again, with the right um, flow and the right texture and the right everything, what you do with your left hand can literally be improvised. It's going to sound like a samba. Okay, it's the, the main ostinato that really needs to be absorbed. So, that being what? This. If that's memorized, you're good to go. Then you can play all sorts of stuff with your left. So that is not what's written there, but it's still a samba. Okay? I take my liberties, but that's still a samba, right? That's that's the bottom line. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um let's do let's start by playing again the right hand and the right foot. And then we'll add one snare drum at a time. Yeah. That's it.
the sum. All right. Now we'll add the first note. It's the same as the bossa nova. Snare drum on the one. So, yeah. Before we do that, actually, let's play just this. What we just did. But this time along to music. Just that. Your eyebrows went really high. What happened? Why is that? It is fine. <laughs> How fast do you think you were playing, by the way? I'm curious as to what the, you know, perspective, I guess. I want to see your perspective. How fast do you think that was? One ten. And so is this song, so. One ten. That's why it needs to be all these ideas need to be practiced to music. When we don't practice along to music, we never really get to see how the rhythm works in real life, in real world. It's all it's always in our own just little world. Always to music. Always to music. Even if it's just like let's say I'm gonna digress now away from the boss and off and whatnot. Let's say you're just working on, on singles. Why on earth would you, wouldn't we be practicing singles to music? Why on earth shouldn't we? We'll do that today a little bit off, off topic. I'll show you how to do that. So, back to the samba. We only have five minutes. These, sh these sessions are too short. I need... <laughs> We only have five minutes left. 
Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, then we've got all those left hand notes, right? You have snare drum on the one, snare drum on the two, snare drum on the end of three, snare drum on the end of four. So we see that there's on beat, on beat, off beat, off beat. And then off beat, off beat, off, on beat. So on, on, off, 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 on. <laughs> right? Again, syncopated as hell. It means that uh, the pattern that you find in the first half of the bar is different from the pattern that you find in the second half of the bar. Okay? That's literally all it means. When you divide the bar in half, if you see the, the, uh, the same pattern on both halves, then it's not syncopated. If they change, that's syncopation. Which they clearly do, right? That doesn't matter, because that's a different bar. So it ju if it repeats like in the second bar, that, that doesn't matter, it's within the bar. Okay? So clearly quite a syncopated groove. So we've got the, the whole thing all put together, so I'll start with just the right hand and the right foot. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two. So I'll play the left hand now. Okay, now at samba speed, we're looking more at something like this. Ah, sorry. It's fast. Okay, anyway. Speed is not the the, the, the the focus here, but you get the point. Sounds like samba. Yes, sir. That's the samba. All right. Uh, it's obvious that we'll need to leave the Partido Alto for next Sunday. Um, there's not enough time. We are already over time. 